Namaste, goddesses, gods, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayen, aka Empress 1111. Today is Sunday, and I am doing this reading for the comfort of my bed. This is my rest day. Every Sunday, you're going to get your readings from the comfort of my bed. How about that? Let me tell you what inspired me to do this reading. I was at the Half Price Bookstore today, and I ran into a lady when I picked up some tarot cards that were bre- they were brand new. And um, she was like, you do tarot readings? And so we got into this little conversation. And in the middle of this conversation, she was telling me that she wanted to um, look at my channel. And she asked me, do I do signs? Do I do zodiac signs? And I told her no. Told her the reason why, because, you know, I'm into the Eastern philosophy. As some of you already know that I've been going to the Hindu temple now. Um, It will be two years this year at the end of the year. And, um, well, actually, you know what? It's almost two years. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Time flies by fast. But anyway, long story short, she wanted to know why I didn't do the Zodiac signs. And I told her how flawed the Western Zodiac astrology system is. And so the Vedic system is a lot better. As you can see um, in their marriages, if they do the astrology before they get married, they be together forever. And they have the best relationships. And it's because of the accuracy of astrology that's in their system and it's coded and it's a lot better than what we have over here because there's so many factors. You got to go by the ascending sun, the descending moon, you know, your sun rising, your moons, which represents your emotional, you know, it's just too much. It's, it's the Vedic system was a little bit more simpler to me, if you ask me, but let me not rant. Let me go ahead. Sagittarius is And let me get into your reading, okay? Speaking about emotions here. um, Yeah, love is in the air for you. This reading, by the way, is for the month of February. I'm seeing that some of you are going to be falling in love. There's going to be some wedding proposals. And it does not strike as a surprise to me. This is February. February the 14th is Valentine's Day. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious that this is going to be happening for a lot of you in the month of February. And right now, you're being called to be emotionally balanced. And some of you are going to get some invitations to weddings, proposals, baby showers. And this is where you're going to meet the love of your life. And then there's going to be some of you that are going to go to like mutual families and friends' houses and your ex is going to be there. So it's not going to necessarily be a new person, but it's going to be your ex that is going to come back into your life. Now, also, there's the seven of fire. And with the seven of fire, it's basically telling you to defend your beliefs and your decisions and to stay your ground. Make sure that you choose your battles wisely. This came out in another reading earlier today. It was just amazing. So what is basically saying is that you have to pick the two of the lesser evils. There is a decision that the universe is causing you to make. It may be with your personal life. It may be with your love life. This is a general reading. But what I'm picking up is that for some of you, it will be a combination of both. You know... Old ways won't open new doors. So really be careful. You can't move the same way that you moved in the past. You have to open up to new opportunities and you have to move differently in your future, especially for the month of February. I feel like so much is going to come in for you. If you look at all of these different color rainbows that is around her, this is just basically letting you know that your highest good is coming in and is being showered upon you. Okay, and you look at all of this right here. This is like um, the universe, pranaya. Everything is happening in your favor for you. It's like everything is going to take flight for you. Your love is going to take flight. Your career is going to take flight 
February, I'm saying overall, it's just going to be a very prosperous month for you. The next card we have here is brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. So it's the king of air. What it's saying to me is that you have to speak your mind. And when you do it, you have to speak it with confidence. For some, from, for some of you, I'm feeling that there's going to be a situation that's going to cause for you to speak your truth. Since this is air, I'm going to say that it's going to be more professionally than it is personal. You're going to have to speak up and you're going to have to make sure that you're not emotional and that you're at a very grounded place where you're rooted within yourself and that you're firm on your convictions. We have awareness. <clears throat> I'm saying for a lot of you, the majority of you, that you are awakening. And if you see the spear above this man's head, he's taking flight up into the cosmos with the opening of his crown. Whoa. All I have to say is that in February, get ready to take flight. There's going to be something that's going to happen that is going to wake you up. This card is known as a tower card and is that. You're going to have so many epiphanies and there's going to be some things that are going to be revealed to you that have been covered that are going to be uncovered. There is nothing new up under the sun. What goes in the dark comes out in the light. And for you Sagittarius's, for some of the questions that you have asked the universe, you are going to get those epiphanies and you're going to get those aha moments where you're going to get the answer that you've already intuitively knew all along that is coming for you, my dear. In the month of February. And that deals with relationships. Okay. That is what I'm pulling from the ethers. Some of you are not speaking your truth. You have the throat chakra in reverse. Which means that it is not balanced. But oh baby. Please believe me when I tell you. That in the month of February. You're going to be put in a situation. Where you're going to have to clear that show throat that show, show throcker, the throat chakra and you are going to have to speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you god okay that situation is going to occur for you in the month of february you're going to be put in a position to where you have to speak it and you have to speak it and sing like a canary and it may be something that's dealing with your work and for some of you i'm feeling that it's not really necessarily your work, but it is a love situation and you're going to have to spill it all out. This is going to be a moment of truce is what the universe is telling me for you in your love life. All right. And Saggy's last but not least, my dear, we have the universe card, which is the world card. Okay. This is a new cycle that is going to open up for you. And I'm seeing this in your love life. It's going to be someone that's going to come in. This person can be someone from your past or it can be someone that is going to be a, a new suitor. But even though they're new, they're still a past life, like a soulmate or a twin flame. It's coming back to you in the month of February. And we all know that in the month of February, we have Valentine's Day. So it's no surprise that all of these new love opportunities are coming back on deck because guess what? Nobody wants to be alone on Valentine's Day. All right. So, Saggies, this comes to the conclusion of your reading. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, and leave a love donation if you feel inclined to. It is greatly appreciated if you do. I now wrap you on my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is. Namaste, everyone.